What's up guys? Welcome to your 147th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to get into is working with the HTTP client uh, to get some information from the internet and kind of process that information, parse it, and use it to our own benefit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our new Boston project that we've been working in and we're just going to right click and create a new class. You know, just the standard stuff you guys are experts at right now. And we're going to call this class HTTP example and uh, just get our class set up. We also want to set up a layout, so we're going to uh, just do a real quick layout, nothing new. Um, again, just right click new Android XML file and we're going to call this HTTP uh, ex example or EX, something like that. Hit finish. All we're going to have in this layout is just one text view. We're going to kind of retrieve some information from the internet. Um, so just go into your your code, your XML, and just type loading data. And we're going to give this a reference of TV uh, HTTP, uh, something like that. Hit save. We also might want to put a scroll view in there. Now that I think about it. So we're just going to go above our text view and put in a scroll view and give it the reference Android layout height is equal to fill parent and also Android layout width is equal to fill parent as well and then we're just gonna wrap our text view so we're just gonna cut that and paste below reformat make sure you guys have the same kind of look here so there we go we have our XML layout set up pretty basic stuff now what we're gonna do for this example is we're just gonna have this one our class HTTP example extender activity import and set up our on create method again the boring setup all I've done is I just set up our class with the on create method set content view to that uh, XML layout we just set up and we also uh, defined our text view which I uh, made that reference bridge within our onCreate method again nothing new but uh, this is going to be our main class where we're eventually going to receive a Twitter um, message like your last Twitter post something like that but uh, as for now I just want to get you guys familiar with the HTTP client uh, that's kind of difficult to say so you guys try and say that ten times fast let me know what happens. But what we're going to do is we're going to hit right click, create a new class, which is going to handle our get method from our HTTP client. So we're just going to call this um, get method, something like that. Um, example, EX maybe. Hit finish. And this is a class that we're going to use to get the information from the internet. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to set up a method within this class that's going to return a string which we're going to change our text view uh, to refer to that string so we're just going to say public string because again we're returning a string and we're going to say we're going to call this get internet data and this is going to throw an exception so now that we have our method set up called get internet data and this is supposed to be throws and right, we're just getting an error because we have to return a string, uh, which we'll get to later. But what we want to do in this class is, or this method, is create a buffered reader, which I'll explain in a second. We're just going to set this equal to be null, and we're going to call that buffer reader n. And we're also going to create a string, and we're going to say this is our data, and we're going to set this equal to null as well. Control Shift O to add our imports, which is our buffered reader. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try to connect to the HTTP client. I always wonder if I am saying that right or not. So let's set up our HTTP client. And uh, we're going to call this just like client, something like that. Pretty standard. We're going to set this equal to the new default uh, HTTP client. Just the default uh, HTTP client. And uh, what we're gonna allow, what this is gonna allow us to do, and just make sure you spell that right. And what this is gonna allow us to do is 
uh, allow our application to process information that's not built internally. So we can rely more on the website and just get some information from the website and try instead of trying to handle all of the data, all the information within our app. So that's what an HTTP client uh, will allow us to do, um, basically reference the internet. So that's the basic setup for this tutorial. Obviously we still have quite a bit to go, but I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Um, and I'll see you guys then. Have a good one.